Gathering on Equilarium FM for inspired conversation and guidance to lighten and brighten your day. Claire Johnson has gatherings around her kitchen table with a group of interesting and vibrant guests who are professionals from all fields of the healing arts. Real people integrating spirituality into everyday reality. Laughter and joy are two of the main dishes served at her table. And now, here is your host, Claire Johnson, raising vibrations across the nations, inspiring you to become all that you can be. Hello, hello, and welcome to this show 15 on our wonderful new manifestation, Equilarium FM. Today is the very first show, actually, being launched live from my new home. So it's, been, yeah, it's taken us four weeks to get here, hasn't it? Uh-huh. Yeah, so we're here. So this week at the gathering around my kitchen table, the Real Holistic Housewives have been joined by our really good friend and inspirational soul sister, Kelly Oldershaw. Hi, it's great to be here with you today. It's lovely to have you here, Kelly. We'll be hearing all about Kelly's dramatic road to personal transformation and discussing the incredible merits of embarking on a path of self-development. So, my other lovely ladies, of course, here are my trusty, beautiful soul sisters and co-hosts, Jill Orsman. Hi, Claire. Hello, everybody. Hi, Kelly. Josephine Tyrrell. Hello, Claire. Hello, everyone. Lovely to be here with you today. And our lovely regular guest, Anita Young. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hello. Uh So, here we are. Um, We're having a bit of mayhem, of course, in this summer, which just carries on to be the coldest, blowiest most autumn-like summer. Maddest. Maddest <laughs> summer. So I know the rest of the world is sweltering and um, having 40 degrees and things like that in, in the whole of Europe. Mm-hmm. I've had friends ringing and writing saying that they can't sleep at night, it's too hot. Whereas we actually had the heating on yesterday. We did, we had the heating on. It's right there. So the world's a crazy place right now. Mm-hmm. But Kelly, you've just recently joined us back in the UK where you've been living in uh, Cape Town. Aren't you? Is that your last stop? I know I can't keep up with you these days. You go flitting around the world. Yes, I've been in Cape Town for the last two years after my intuition led me there on my path of transformation. Right. Shall I? Um, I'll just tell our listeners that um, Kelly is an intuitive coach and trainer. She works with her clients to create a whole new foundation for life, working with those ready to live their truth and create a life beyond their wildest dreams. Kelly's come a really long way from suffering from ME and chronic fatigue in her early teens for over 15 years and having never been in love even until her early 30s. Then, after being trained in alchemy, intuition and the creative process, she went on a journey both internally and physically which took her to Cape Town and beyond, I believe. (laughs) Um, There she discovered the power of sexuality which not only allowed her to meet her soulmate but gave her the understanding of the connection between our sexuality, our masculine and feminine, living our truth and creating what we love in all areas of our life. Um, And she's now about to move to Bali to get married and is starting her very own special retreats as she launches the Turned On Tribe. It sounds amazing. Connecting people with their sexuality and creative power, enabling them to live lives beyond their wildest dreams. So, wow, what a story. That sounds great. Doesn't it? (laughs) (laughs) You love her. (laughs) Did you you write that? That sounds like a great line. Who is that? Yeah, um, that program. This is your life. Yeah. Kelly Oldershaw, this is your life. (laughs) Oh, that's funny. Um, Yeah, I I was running what I thought was a successful business back uh, a few years ago now, and I was helping people with ME and chronic fatigue to recover and training practitioners and running seminars and workshops and mentoring programs. And and from the outside world, life looked great. I was living, had a nice car, living in a nice flat, single, depressed, getting sick, helping other people get well. So my life, I wasn't living my truth and... I was awakened to that once I started training in intuition and going on a different mm-hmm. path. And my intuition and truth and the coaches I was working with informed me that, you know, my truth was living in the sun. It was, you know, working in my own right, teaching, training, but in a different arena. And at the time, I had no idea what that was or how that was going to be. And it was also to be in love. And, and it seemed like a different world to the one I was living but I followed my intuition and I let go, I walked away from my business. I sold all my furniture, sold my car, 
let go of everything. Oh, that beautiful life. flat you had. I remember beautiful your whole flat. life. You let it go. The business, it was the hardest thing. I remember crying and thinking, how can I walk away? How can I let go of this? But it was not true for me anymore. No. But you had this, I remember at the time, you you had this huge responsibility that you were letting other people down. Mm. So you've always carried this weight of other people, this sense of responsibility yeah. with you instead of following your own heart. And then you you just got really brave and decided to, to do did. it. It was tough, you know. We trained over 100 practitioners. We were building a community. I was part of the face of the business. It wasn't just a business that I was, behind, you know, hiding behind. It was no. like I was, I was the face of it as well. So it was very hard to walk away. But I had to follow my truth. And, and I remember... A good friend of mine saying to me when I'd done that and I was living in Cape Town, she said to me, you've always tried to inspire people and now you've become an inspiration. And that really stuck with me because I realized that we can often try and serve other people and help them. But when we do it to the detriment of ourselves, yeah. we're not actually being true to ourselves. And, I'd, and I met a lot of people that did that and didn't realize I was doing it myself until I left and walked away. And I remember sitting on the beach in Cape Town looking at Table Mountain going, who am I when I'm not a director of a business or when I'm not trying to serve others? It's like, who is Kelly when she's not trying to play a role in the world? And I took, you know, six months out to, to connect with, the, you know, the essence of who I was and follow my truth, and it opened me up to a new life. Fantastic. Mm. Fantastic. Mm. Because you weren't, I mean, to the outside world, you were beautiful Kelly like you are, and you know, I used to come and, and do similar talks with you with what you're doing you're doing a lot of good for other people but it definitely um something changed in you when you started to pursue your own path mm. it was just wonderful and the mm. blogs that you would write and the people that you encountered when you stepped away from what your head was telling you to do and were following your heart mm. absolutely and, and the biggest challenge was that i'd never been in love i'd never had a relationship i had huge tension and around intimacy and sexuality and i didn't know what that was about or why i had that but, you know, my intuition led me into exploring that side of myself and sexuality. And I went on some incredible retreats and discovered that I'm a sexual woman and I'm a sexual being and that my sexual energy actually opened me up to creating, to writing, to this other side of myself that I didn't have access to until I woke up to that side of myself. And the more training I did in intuition and, and the creative process, I then started working with other people and started coaching in that work and... And um, my intuition led me back to the UK and understand that. Then it said, you need to move to another area of Cape Town before you come back. And as I did that, I walked straight into the arms of the man I adore. And within three days, I knew it was my soulmate. And um, that was incredible because I'd never been in love. I never knew what it was like until I met him. And then I had to change all my plans and change my flights and stay with him. And, and at the time it was tough because my dad was suffering from cancer back in the UK. So the thresholds to cross were immense. But I knew I had to follow my heart and truth and stay. And I did. And, and I've lived with him from the moment we met. So we had such an intense connection. And then sadly my dad did pass um, the following year and, and you know obviously came back for a while and then I was able to give the gift of Cape Town to my mum and take her back and she met Ed and and it was incredible because I, I never would have been able to give her that if I'd have gone back and not pursued that relationship and been back there I was able to give my mum a whole new way of, of grieving and then living because of that so that was quite a gift incredible gift mm. yeah because um you know as you say when your father passed it was such a huge loss for you and your mum mm. but the fact that you just like wrapped her up in your arms and said no come out here there's a whole mm. new life going on you just moved to a new house hadn't you where there was yeah. just room for her yeah absolutely and I, I know that it was such a gift that she could then go and be with the animals and mm. see everything oh it was amazing it truly was and then and then later that year, we went on a cruise for what would have been my dad's 65th birthday to scatter his ashes. And then that's when Ed proposed to me on the cruise ship as we're coming out of Venice. It's time to say goodbye. I came over the tannoy as I'm saying goodbye to my dad. And then Ed drops to one knee and proposes. It was like our movie. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it was just amazing. Yeah. And um, so we, we had an incredible whirlwind, you know, 18 months together. And then this past... This past three or four months, everything has changed and transformed. I don't know if I've got time to say that before that uh, for the break. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Um, we, might, we might have to come back from the break. Come back to hear your next little bit more. But. Yeah, yeah. 
but yeah. it's, it's a wonderful story because as you had so many people give up with ME and so many people with chronic fatigue think there is no there's mm. no cure there's no there's no life beyond it mm. but you know you are living proof which is why you're such a you know spokesperson for it that you know mm. That you you now living your life. You're actually out there doing it. You didn't allow your illness to, to mm. stop you. Absolutely. I think one of the things I learned very powerfully is that we, you know, we are 100 percent responsible for everything we create. You know, the the magic and the mayhem. And I created that. And you know, health is still my wound. It's it's still the way in which that the egoic part of me tries to stop me when I step into my power my health's always the bit that it tries to go come on you know you, you can't be powerful you know we've all got those two sides of us we've all got that wise woman and and her bitch yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and mine knows how to to play me and, and and try and keep me still small and you know and we've always got that battle between our head and our heart and it's uh, and it's it's a journey and I'm always I'm always aware of that part of myself and 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 but what I learned was how that regardless of what's going on with my health my body the story I st I was able to shift before that I wasn't you know that became an obsession and became something that I was you know that I was stuck and when I chose love and I chose to live my dreams and what I'd love to create I was able to do that regardless of what was going on with my body or my health and still create an incredible amount of magic and serve other people yeah, along the way, yeah. rather than compromising myself and my dreams. Yeah, and what a way you serve people. A fantastic coach and inspiration to masses of people. And that's one of the reasons we wanted to have you as a guest today, mm. Kelly, because it just, you know, it just weaves into what we're trying to create here and why we've called this show Equilarium. And uh, after the break, uh, Claire's going to just update the listeners with uh, the project oh yes and um just telling everybody what it's all about because mm. we're all coming from the heart space now we're wanting to create you know magnificence in the world and um it's lovely just to connect all these hearts together and hear mm. the stories and we're just so behind you with what you're doing so yeah, 100%. Just, mm. so we'll see you after the break yeah yeah The future of Internet radio is here. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Hi, this is Sylvia Henderson, Intuitive Life Coach and Energy Healer. Are you ready to elevate and rise way above your normal? Be sure to listen to my show, Intuitive Transformations, on Own Times Radio, Sunday evenings at 9 p.m. Eastern. Get the inspiration you need to transform your life. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Ohm Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment, a philanthropic organization. Their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Ohm Times, co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. If you've ever said, I do, I do want it all. I do want happiness. I do want love. And I do desire the happily ever after fairy tale life, then this show is for you. Join me, Dame Nicole Brandon, for my internationally acclaimed show, Bridal Talk Radio, every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific Time, where I'll bring you the top experts in the fields of communication, money, relationships, finance, pleasure, play, travel, sexuality, parenting, real estate, adventure, comfort, care passion, and love. The best of holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. 
Okay, so welcome back. And um, it's just really lovely for you to be here, Kelly, so we can just share where we are on our journey because our journeys have just intertwined over the last few years, hasn't it? And, mm. um, you know, and for you just coming in today and just finding out about Equilarium, what, where we're at, it's probably quite a surprise for you. You didn't even know we were doing a show, did you? No. Uh, so no, um, it's, it's come a long way since, the you know, when we met years and years ago and we were talking about it in your back garden. Yeah, we were. And, <laughs> and it's, you know, it's actually happening and it's, it's manifesting. Yeah, it's manifesting. Mm-hmm. So Claire's just going to read a little bit about the actual project if, for people that have not heard about it yet. So to you, Claire. Okay. Right. Equilarium is a visionary project to build a state-of-the-art, high-vibration, holistic healing centre that is designed to heal the planet as well as the mind, body and spirit of humanity. It has a very specific destination and point of healing where it wants to be, which is in Northern California. It wants to be built on sacred ground, on the volatile and geo-stressed weak point of the planet, the place where it is needed most to deliver harmonious healing energy and vibration to help counteract and readdress the discordant, disruptive energy on the San Andreas fault line. Equilarium is going to be an amazing new type of architectural earth acupuncture designed and built using sacred geometry to put good, positive healing vibrations back into the planet. It's going to be a type of empowerment centre to instruct and ignite the hope and self-worth of current and future generations by working with and teaching the incredible healing power and importance of living in high vibrations. As you know, we are on a strong curve of our global awakening and everyone is experiencing great change as the whole paradigm of our world is shifting. We have to actively take action to become conscious citizens of the planet, not just as inhabitants of our individual states and countries. It should be our united legacy to do whatever we can all do for future generations and the survival of the planet as a healthy, vibrant, pleasant land. So we will be looking to provide as much information and education, positive support and guidance to inspire and empower all individuals to understand their own energy and how best to use it for the collective common good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Which ties in with what you're doing, isn't it, Kelly, with them really, really living your truth and then inspiring others to do so mm. yeah for the yeah. common good living your truth takes a lot of courage and i've really learned that the last few months when just uh it, in march ed um said to me out of the blue talking out of the blue we have a blue moon coming up this month <laughs> we do actually yeah. don't we yeah. and you've got some information yeah. about that for us yeah. so um out of the blue ed just said to me i can't marry you uh like we can't carry on like this you're hiding in cape town your you know your vision what you want to achieve and create and who you are it's just you know you're playing small and you're hiding here in cape town and i can't give you the life that you want to live being here and he has a son which really you know anchors him there and I just fell apart, you know. I'd never been in love before and I'd met the man of my dreams, we're engaged and we're getting married and then he just drops this bombshell and it was the toughest thing ever. But I also had this calling to go to Asia and and I didn't really know why or what was happening. So I followed that thread and and I and I my intuition said go to Bali and I didn't really understand why and so I followed that and, and found out that there was this amazing creative energy that's happening in Bali these people that are coming from all over the world that are designers or writers or can work anywhere and there's there's communities that are being created in Bali and high vibrational creative people living there so when I got there I was I just got welcome home when I landed you know that energy of this is where you're meant to be it's a feminine place and and my heart was breaking open at the same time because I wanted Ed to be there with me and but I knew I just had to let him go and but I also knew I was going to marry him <laughs> um, and he just had to do his thing and he did he woke up he started right he shifted his vibration by writing yoga meditation changing his diet and realized how he couldn't live without me and we were still communicating and messaging each other and chatting and and then he just said i'll see you in two days i'm flying out to bali and oh, i was just oh, I was, it was just incredible wow. Um, wow. and he arrived 
So that's mm. a huge message to um, follow your intuition regardless and things come right in the end. It made know? no logical sense and everyone was no. saying, but you're so in love. And we left being in love, knowing we love each other, but knowing that it wasn't working in Cape Town. Mm. My engagement ring, the diamond had fallen out the day he said, I can't marry you. I was like, it's oh, like, okay, goodness. I get this. This is not happening here. And I had to let go, but trust in the power of love. Wow. And so he then said, I can, I'm moving to Bali. We're, we're going to create a life here. And I'm going, but how do we do that with the son? He's like, I we'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll create this. He'll come over for holidays. I'll create a life where I can go back there. He said, I'm over Cape Town. We need a new start, a new life, a new creation. And the synergy, the magic, I'm just clients and creating clients effortlessly out there the people i'm meeting have got the same vision of creating a retreat you know similar energy to equilarium in bali and conscious education and retreat centers and it's just astounding what happens when you just let go and follow the truth yeah and that ties in with some mighty piece of writing that you've had this week oh my god yeah it does actually yeah. I know, because we it wasn't even confirmed till a few days ago that you could be here and be our special mm. guest. But this writing that I got, when we were reading it earlier on, it's, it's almost like it was written for you, isn't it? It's so spot on. Yeah. But so, you know, it's spot on for all of us. And, you know, hopefully it'll it'll resonate with a lot of um, listeners out there as well. But talk about inspirational, you know, uh, Kelly, you make this all sound so easy. I just did this, I just did that. But we know your backstory to all of this, and it's taken immense courage for you to go off and do all this and you are such an inspiration to us yeah. and really and truly you, you yeah, we, are yeah, to honestly, everyone listening yeah definitely Kelly thank you just mm-hmm. to um, I mean I know how much courage it took for you to stay and be there with Ed when your father was mm-hmm. suffering with cancer because mm-hmm. you know I've been there with my mum and my dad through mm-hmm. cancer and um, the guilt that's involved with making choices that are for yourself and to choose mm-hmm. to live and to pursue your own life at the same time when you, you feel that responsibility that you ought to be there to be tending a parent. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's that huge mix. But you were right and your dad wanted you to do that and you mm-hmm. were right to pursue that because now it was, it was the time for him to go, but it's the time for you to live. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, every part of this is hard come by for the journey mm-hmm. that you've done. So I agree with Josephine. It's taken a lot of courage mm-hmm. and um, inner soul work for you to, to you know, arrive at those answers which say I just did this just did that as you say it's very yeah, easy to say very easy to and then I skipped over here and I skipped over there I just went to Cape Town and <laughs> yeah. but now I'm going to Bali yeah, yeah exactly but, but such an inspiration yeah. to us honestly yeah. and your dad was so proud of you you know he really Thank was you. and he wanted the very best for you but you're an inspiration to all the listeners listening there uh, to, to, to know that if, if you can really feel it in your heart and soul Go for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that you didn't allow your um, your Emmy to, to mar your dreams, as you said. If you gave it control, which you had for years, and then you decided to go in there and, and take control and, mm-hmm. and, and pursue your life regardless. Because sometimes, I'm not saying that everybody can do that turn around, but it takes a lot of strength and courage mm-hmm. to to um, to turn something like that around. I mean, look at Louise Hay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Louise, inspirational mm-hmm. leaders out there who've turned around their own health issues. Mm-hmm. As you said, it, it's... Um, and inspired so many others. Exactly. So many, um, which is exactly what you're doing and what we hope to do with Equilarium too. Yeah. But that writing that, that you've got now, that guided writing, clear is just beautiful. So would you like to... I don't know. Have we've got time. It's time to say I've got two. It's quite a big piece, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it, well, it, it wouldn't break. matter if you cut off with this because it is so long. That's true. That you can mm. you can contemplate during the break what you've just heard. It's ready for the next lot because it is huge. It is huge. How about that? Yeah. Should we do that? Yeah. I mean, even at lunchtime, I had to read it twice to the yeah. gathering because we were like, so much. whoa, that is so much. I then had to read it again. Mm. had a five-minute break and then have another. Portion. <laughs> so here we go. So That's here right. we go. Part one. Yeah. And then don't forget, you can always uh, listen again on the archives if you need to hear it again, because there's a lot mm. of food for thought. So if you get the opportunity to just sit and um, close your eyes to embrace, and then just let the words settle into you. Often the outward appearance can show no coherence with the inner vibration of a thing. Sometimes, too, it is hard to realise what truth does reside deep inside the core of an issue or a conflict or a person. Do not limit your understanding or fail to take into consideration the deeper root pattern, the underlying rhythm that can belie the smile upon the face, that can be simultaneously taking place. 
Sometimes what the heart may be knowing, the face may not be showing. When there is a disconnect between the mind, body and spirit, people can behave in most peculiar ways. For if there is no inner dialogue between the parts of the whole, there is little or no motivation or inspiration to aim for achieving the vast potential that comes with each and every soul. The story of the head takes over instead, or the demands of a greedy or lazy body get in the way, creating disease within its makeup. The natural, passionate exuberance with which your soul would love to sing and dance through life gets stifled and contained and forced to remain out of sight, out of reach, out of mind. Depression and despair, apathy and hopelessness get to rule the day. They get to call the shots and lead the way. When selfish decisions and inconsiderate actions cause isolation and a self-destructive internal pattern, much like a type of inner nuclear reaction with a meltdown of good, clear, positive thoughts and vibrations into a dangerous, volatile, combustible state where anger rages beneath the surface, where fear feeds the running of the whole on low, negative vibrations that do not serve your souls in any way, shape or form. It is of the uppermost importance to change your energy source to one of good, clean, clear, high vibration, one that is connected to source, one that will serve you as a whole, one that feeds and nourishes your mind, body and soul. Enlightenment is the name of the game and every soul is waiting for its turn to shine and do what it has come with a vast potential to do. To be what it has come to be, to be love and be loving, to be kind, generous and forgiving, to thrive and to play its part in joyful combination with its heart, full of positivity, creativity and joie de vie. To be continued. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> The Real Conscious Connection. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Eros Evolution is where sexuality and spirituality meets. Join me, clinical sexologist Martha Tara Lee, on Eros Evolution on Thursdays, 4 p.m. Eastern, on Ohm Times Radio. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Ohm Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. Have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm? The secret key is finding a love partnership, not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships. Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today at AscendingHearts.com and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. Radio Namaste leads you down the yellow brick road into portals of consciousness with the blue-collar goddess as your host. Interviews with humans who could be famous or just popular, and answers to everything are on the agenda. Tune into Om Times Radio and drop in on Thursdays at 3 Eastern. It's a different brand of enlightenment. The cutting edge of conscious radio. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Claire, would you like to continue with the 
another part of Toss's teachings. I will do. For the combustion of love and inspiration, compassion and understanding deep within your heart can create endless amounts of supercharged positive energy, exploding from the core of you, emanating out into your world, fueling your life and emotions, giving you the impetus, dynamism and drive to realise all that you can be, all that you can do, to fully support and enable you to be the greatest you can be. Mm. Wow, so that was a piece and a half, wasn't it? What I love about that is um, a, a lot of us uh, and a lot of life is outside of ourselves, so it's, it's how it looks and it's all imagery. And what I love about the opening part of that, Claire, is, is um, beneath the surface, a whole different story could be going on. Mm-hmm. And we all kind of assume, and we, you know, and, and I think the teenagers are brought up and everybody's kind of brought up to just look and think, oh, well, they're okay. Um, but something else is, is happening deep down in a lot of cases, and, um, and that highlights that, and I love that. Yeah. Because we were just seeing in the break as well, you know, on the surface, nobody would ever get that you've ever had a struggle in your life. Kelly, because you mm. look amazing, you're a goddess, you look absolutely amazing on the outside, and um, you're beautiful, you look uber, you know, together in life, yeah. mm. and so um, you wouldn't see your struggles, you know, so that piece encourages us all to scratch beneath the surface yeah. and look beneath them, mm. understand that it's not all perfect, we're, we're not perfect mm. and life isn't perfect. And um, definitely the spiritual path, that's not all perfect is it no, guys? It is and it's imperfections <laughs> isn't it? I mean yeah. it's certainly challenging yeah. and a half, but yeah. But often if you don't look beneath the surface as you say and you judge everybody else um, around you as being together and their life working mm. you know, think oh but she's amazing, her whole life is you know, fantastic. Mm. No, if you go and speak to her, whoever she is, yeah. and have a heart to heart, there'll be struggles that she's going through. So if you if you just take it on face value, like you're saying, mm. you don't know, and then you think you're you, you get into victim role because you think why is life working for everybody else and not for me? And you can lose sight of mm. you know of real perspective. Mm. But as soon as you start connecting with with people on a heart level, you understand that we're all here to learn the same things. Mm. You know, we all share the same. Um, wealth of experience of hopes, dreams, fears, insecurities, you know, whatever people are showing on the outside, mm. you know. Mm. And we're all connected by the same golden thread. thread. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Mm. But that's the thing, the illusion that we are, you know, for me, there was this like, I'm living this great life and I'm making a difference and I'm helping people and I've got this business and I'm successful, but it was an illusion. It was a, you know, my, it was like I was wearing a mask, you know, back then, I, you know, before that I used to teach skincare and makeup. So I always had a face full of makeup and, you know, I'd always like make sure my jewelry matches and my outfit would match and I have my handbag and my shoes and a nice car. And, um, and there are certain aspects of that that are an innate part of my being, but a lot of it was, was, you know, the illusion was the ego was the mask trying to put on this image to the world of what I thought I needed to be, to be loved, to be accepted, to be yeah. successful. And and I remember Ed saying to me when he looked back at pictures of me a few years before and he said, if I'd have met you then, I would have run a mile. Uh, <laughs> you know, because, I, you know, you know you through, show your through, true colors. through the training, yeah. I, I became vulnerable. I became real. I became, you know, this, this is the woman behind the mask. This is the woman behind the you know the successful business owner or behind trying to help others it's like I, I connected to this part of myself that I um I, I didn't know was there or I didn't think was good enough to mm. be to be loved or to be real or, so I think you know when you know when we put the smile on our face like it says in the in the reading it's like we because we don't believe that what's behind there is enough and it's only when we actually allow ourselves the time to go in and see who that really is and have the courage to show that part of ourselves regardless of what the response is. Mm. You know, it takes courage to be yeah. vulnerable and be real. Mm. Then when, you, when you've got that, you get more freedom to play. Mm. So if you want to get dressed up one day, get dressed up to the nines and enjoy every moment. Mm. And then if you just want to slob out in your tracksuit with no makeup and greasy hair and eat chocolate all day, uh-huh. do that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you have a freedom to be everything that wants to express itself mm. through you and as Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 But try not to get lost in one or the other. Yeah. Because they don't yeah. just stay on the sofa for three months eating chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't Because your energy oh. wouldn't allow it. No, no, no. 
know, because the or next day you break up. stay in the office being the power woman. Yes. Yes. You know, yeah. it's, it's, it's about it's having the balance of everything, isn't it? It's it is. Well, you know, women are born into a cycle. We have a, we have a natural rhythm and a cycle, and we have emotions, and we're, you know, society teaches us to be like men, to be, you know, the pill and everything that's like, you know, let's get rid of all of that yeah. roller coaster, that chaos, all of that. And our wisdom is, is deep in that chaos, yeah. in those emotions, in that, you know, if, if we, the thing is, it's about, using the tension of all of that to create and not resolve that tension and, and you know be angry and, and shout at someone it's mm. about just being with that emotion feeling it expressing it using that energy to create something amazing rather than it be getting in the way and that's the lesson the journey i've really been on the last couple of years or well, numbing yourself out of it because even that was in the teachings with the apathy and this that and the other mm. um so a lot of people look to numb themselves oh, from yeah. life from pain and joy from this and that but uh, the freedom is in embracing and experiencing everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was, it was one of the biggest gifts from losing my dad. You know, I, 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 you know, my natural response to that was was numbness, was shutting down, and Ed was powerful in being able to hold the space for for me to really open up and and go into that grief and feel the pain and and I felt like I was going to die when I went in that and it was so painful. But I realised how I'd shut myself down from feeling that. But if we can't feel the pain, we can't feel the joy on the other side. So to the depth we can go into the pain is the same as we can receive the joy and the abundance Mm. and the vitality in our life. So when we're trying to numb that out and, you know, and we do that through so many ways, through Facebook, through Mm. Internet, through throwing our heart and soul into our into children, our children or into work. It's like career on career and being successful. Mm. It's like. All of those have their place, but not to the detriment of being able to feel and be real and, you know, have this space to be a woman and to have friends and gatherings and, yeah. you know, create and mm. write and paint and, you know, and play. Yeah. You yeah. Know. And, and feel happy yeah. on the inside because I think a lot of people believe they're happy from the mind. Yeah. So they've got this mind creating reality, but actually if you said to them, are you really happy? They, you would know, mm. yeah. Mm. You would know straight on the inside. Mm. Okay, so if mm. not, why yeah, not? it's not everything that you've acquired on the outside. Yeah. That you, you tick the boxes to think I should be happy. I have it's, this house, yeah. I have this oh, yeah. I have these kids, I have these these cars, mm. I have these rings, I have this hair, I have these but what, boobs. But yeah. what's, <laughs> so, but what's so cheap. amazing is people think they yeah. are happy, and I was in the illusion that I was yes. because I'd numbed out so much, and it was like I was on autopilot. It's like I've just become this robotic version of myself that. Look, fooled myself into thinking I was happy and that this is what I wanted. I thought I was success. I thought this is what I wanted, and it was so far from it. It was, you know, the life I'm living now still astounds me. The person I've become still astounds me when I look at who I was a few years ago. And you know, like when you're reading that out, it's like it, you're, you're reading somebody else's life. It's hard to to you know receive mm-hmm. that. And I think that's a big thing as well. As women, often we don't receive. You know, we don't even receive and acknowledge where we are, what we're yeah. creating, what we're doing. Mm. We're often so focused on what we're doing next or, mm. you know, the people in our lives. As parents, we're so used to giving love to the children because actually your needs do come second at yeah, the yeah. two o'clock feed in the morning. And so we yeah. kind of learn this thing when you become parents. And then to, uh, then it's another learning to open up and actually receive. Yes, yeah, as well, because it I is. think we shut that. Because you have yeah. to, otherwise you wouldn't get up. You wouldn't get up at two o'clock in the morning, and the baby wouldn't, you know, survive. But um, but there has to be some balance in there at some stage where you actually actually you may need to consciously open yourself up to receiving again. Yeah, and I think a lot of women maybe shut themselves down from from then onwards. Mm. But you know, how do you do that? How do you connect with that part of yourself? You know, and it's, I think it is through your intuition, you get a voice, you get a message, you get something that says, you know, something isn't right. Yeah, do you remember that mm-hmm. piece you of voice in, to it? Yeah. Over last week or a few weeks ago, where it said it's that tiny voice. Mm. Where it said it's a tiny voice yeah. and that it's not audible. You mm. have to go in and you have to be still and silent and allow, as you said, you're your inner voice to say actually I'm not very happy in here and go well, shh, shh, who said that <laughs> and so like, you are you're very happy on the outside no you've got to yeah. dare to give mm-hmm. give some time and energy to that inner voice mm-hmm. who'll tell you and if you're not happy then you have to make some changes because you are the only one in actually in control of your life you know? but also then you know even the title of the show you know be inspired and be inspirational you know so if if you can listen to that voice and you can get inspired by someone or something yes, you know, exactly. to, to go with them and do that work. Mm. You know? You're right, because we were saying over lunch, weren't we, that, that when you and I get together, it's always been the same. It's, it's like a sort of catapult reaction. Mm. 
that we spur each other on. Something major always happens. I have a great shift in my life when you come into mine. And mm. Yeah, for me, you know, when I'm ever in your world, it just that little girl in me just wants to play. I look at all of the magical colour and the paintings and the mm. and it's like this part of me that just goes, well, Why don't I give that to myself enough? And and it, it you know, it just it yeah. makes me want to go to go play and paint and you know, and I, I've, I bought all of that, and I, you know, I, you. Yeah, when I met you, I got back into that creative. Mm-hmm. You know, we, in a workshop with absolutely, we've we, we've we've got this creative spirit in us, and it is born to create. Yeah. And when it doesn't, when we're getting to just living and working and paying the bills and in that survival energy, there's, there's a part of us that's dying inside, and yeah. it's screaming at us, and that that screaming is health challenges or resistance or challenges or drama or yeah. stuff coming up it's like that part of us going yeah. mm-hmm. you know please let me play let me let me express myself let me be what i came into this world to be and let me be real mm. yeah let me be real mm. yeah giving yourself permission to be real absolutely mm. and not facebook perfect as real holistic housewives yes like we are yeah like we are yeah hanging yes. at the washing <laughs> you miss it at lunchtime josephine and i was having a conversation about how to get my whites white oh you're really frustrating me i know i still haven't got them right i've tried more products now buy <laughs> cups <laughs> So don't know, do yeah, you can let them know next week. Exactly. I'm going to try <laughs> Kelly's tip. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> or any of the listeners' tips. Any of the listeners' tips. Yes, please. Yeah. They, used, they used a product oh. to spray on the, on the collars of my husband's shirts. It's got mm. five work shirts, beautiful cotton white shirts. And the, the cleaning product, shall I name it? Shall I name Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yes. Vanish. Vanish. <laughs> Didn't vanish. It's actually created a horrible sort of grey stain marks over all the collars of five shirts and I've washed them so many times with so many different other things can I get them white <laughs> ladies I can't get my whites white it's so annoying anyway buy blue uh, next time Claire <laughs> <laughs> it's all pearls buy blue uh, yeah blue shirts yeah, yeah I might dye them <laughs> add a bit of colour <laughs> instead uh, darling those blue colours look lovely on those white shirts you're <laughs> setting the trend <laughs> <laughs> I think it's such an interesting spectrum that we, we mm. oscillate between here because you're talking about white shirts yeah. right through to toss teachings. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah. It's like the uh, Mighty opposite, toss teachings. opposite end of the it's scale. It's the pendulum swing. It is, it is. It has to keep me So moving. you've got quite another big piece you'd like to read oh, I have. just after after the break. It's true. Um, I think it'd be quite nice just to talk about something quite amazing that's actually appeared mm. Um, mm. this weekend I'd like to share yeah. with your listeners. Just very exciting. created, yes. Mm. Found its okay. way to you, Jill, didn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, part of the messenger again. Yeah. Messenger, Jill. Feed your soul with waves of consciousness on Ohm Times Radio. Hello, I'm Miriam Knight of New Consciousness Review, inviting you to my new show where I interview the rising stars of the Conscious Awakening. We'll explore the many faces of consciousness and action and intriguing perspectives on life, the universe, and everything in between. Join us each Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern on the Rising Stars Show. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Are you trying to get from point A to point B and need a little advice? Connect with the counselors at Ohm Times Advisors. Whether you're looking for a life coach or a spiritual intuitive, the advisors participating at advisors.omtimes.com were carefully chosen based on their gifts, skills, and professionalism. Ohm Times Advisors, connecting you with the best advisors in the business. Do you have time to read that inspiring book or that blog post you've been meaning to get to? In your busy world, how do you improve yourself and keep your life going? I'm Lisa Kay, and my Between Heaven and Earth radio show can transform your life just by listening. Be uplifted with inspiring topics, positive stories, and ideas that really work. Between Heaven and Earth radio is conscious living for your soul. 
every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Free your mind. Expand your soul. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Okay, so welcome back. Um, and uh, I'd just like to um, tell the listeners, I mean, I just showed the girls at the lunch gathering today something pretty awesome, wasn't it? Yeah. Something awesome. that has appeared in a crop circle uh, on Saturday. Um, I was actually at the Crop Circle Conference two years ago in that area. Were you? Yeah, Were you? in the field opposite. That Are you joking? Particular... No, I'm not joking. This is real. You went to a Crop Circle yes. Conference. I do a lot of uh, covert operations. <laughs> I think you do. Uh, it's all about seeing the unseen in me. Absolutely. You know Absolutely. Um, <laughs> and uh, anyway, so I knew exactly the field where it's appeared because I was, because this amazing circle appeared two years ago which was the flower of life that i actually stood in um but this one that has arrived um i believe it's a message from toth i do believe yeah. that it is and, and you I guys think, you're think right. uh, it could be uh, you put it on a facebook page i have put it on the facebook page it looks incredible um and it appeared on saturday so um you know, and you, you said it in the last few weeks. You said Toth said, "Stay golden." Yeah, and that's what I've put. I've just put "Stay golden," and uh, that's what it spoke to me. And, and you guys have confirmed that you think it's Toth as well, or a, a message from Toth at least. Mm. But there's a there's a lot. Things are really hotting up. I know. Even from I last think, week, yeah. it's just like things are on fast forward, and these really obscure happenings yeah. are coming into our reality. And um, and we're to expect the unexpected. Absolutely. Yeah. Once it really is here now. Yeah, once in a blue moon. Because yes. the blue moon is happening, which means that there's two full moons in the same month. And it happens every two and a half years. And it means that everything is is, is shifting. And there's also the, all the planetary retrogrades happening, which it magnifies a blue moon. Um, and when there's two blue moons in a month, I was reading that it, it's like 12 times the power of a normal full moon. Oh, 12. So it's, yes, it's very, very powerful. And it's also because of this um, blue moon, it's like a completion from 2012. So all the changes that started back then are coming to completion. So it's like it's a big transition, a big completion time. And I certainly feel it in my life. It's like huge. I'm, you know, I'm just moving to Bali and, and I'm stepping into my authority with starting to teaching my own work and, you know, part of me is freaking out about that but the other part of me knows the truth of yeah. it and I can feel the changes that are happening and it does it feels like I'm ending a chapter and starting a new one and mm. so many people I speak to are having mm. the same journey mm. well um, it's true I mean literally mm. physically mm. I've just arrived at this yes. new starting point yes. but this, it's like a yeah. leaping off point this, mm. it, but 2012 when you were 50 clear. absolutely yeah. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, when I came back out of the box exactly it is yeah. it's when it came to the foreground I said right mm. so the energy for it layer has been building massively since mm. since then until mm. now and we're really and all, all the old ways of manifestation, I think that's coming up in this piece, isn't it, Claire? Yeah. All the old ways um, of doing things, all coming to an end. Yeah, yeah. It's about the bigger picture. Great, so let's let him... Yes, yeah, so if you uh, would like to sit comfortably and close your eyes, if possible, as we say, Jill. And do not operate, in pe- was it machinery? Yeah, and not if you're driving. Not if you're driving, driving. anyway. Because mm-hmm. here comes a mighty piece. Well, here we are again, back at a place your heart and head do know is home. And yet your soul is calling for you to spread your wings and to fly, fly, fly to places beyond the sky. To try and do the magnificence that you have come to do. First and foremost, you have to dare to leap beyond your known world. You have to dare to expand your comfort zone, to incorporate pastures new that you will one day too be able to call home. Your body may well be grounded in the rhythm and rhyme of your world, but that does not mean it is the only song and dance it would like the chance to be. Variety is key. So spice up your life. Don't think twice. Be courageous and aim for more. Learn to sing and dance to the tunes of life in different places amongst different faces. Learn exciting different paces, expressions and moves. Find newness in your life. Do not be complacent or fall asleep in the day-to-day living of your current reality. Wake up, shake up your own world, 
Expand your far horizons. Dance to a new musical score. Sing a new song learned from new people. Or teach your song to others who may not have heard it before. Share your knowledge. Share your wisdom. Share your heart. Become one with more of life than the tiny slice you have been feeding upon for so long. Visit new places. Speak to new faces. Learn all there is to know by embracing others. Their cultures and values, merits and virtues, their inspirations and heavenly connections. Too many people remain isolated in their comprehension and patience and lack of understanding of their fellow citizens of the world. Do not judge another sister or brother, for they are more like you in essence than you can possibly believe. Take time to inquire and learn, care and try to understand the day-to-day -day workings of life in another land. Learn what makes their hearts ignite, then you can find a common ground rather than putting up barriers of ignorance, share wisdom. There is so much out there for you all to learn, to express and share. The world is a very exciting place with a vast variety of species, plants, animals, fauna and flora, peoples and places, landscapes and cityscapes, languages, symbols and beliefs, religions, traditions, celebrations, foods, thoughts, attitudes. There is a veritable plethora of delights available to you, one and all. Appreciate the banquet of opportunities and experience the universe has provided. Your combinations of herbs and spices alone have created a multitude of culinary styles you can call home. Asian, Indian, Thai, Italian, French, Mexican, European, American, Austrian, Moroccan, the list can go on and on and on. Sometimes it is a good idea to even extend the range of your palate, to sample culinary delights from faraway places as they bring traces of their culture and story with every mouthful. The world and its peoples, animals and environments is a mighty melting pot of variety and expression of creation. Be inspired by life and create the world around you and your own life with love and passion. If you are asleep in your world, wake up. If you are walking nowhere, set yourself a goal. Your soul has a purpose, a higher perspective and will give you a clear direction in which to go if you tune into your heart, for it knows a great deal more than your head. Your head has a mind of its own, as it were, and has been filled with traditional teachings and expectations, aims and objectives, rules and directives set in place from your earliest thoughts. It is time for you all to learn to journey inwards to your core, to connect to the united source which can deliver so much more for you than the united choices of your ego and your head for sure. Connect to the source and create your life accordingly. You will be amazed by the wonders that are in store for you one and all. So, so much more than you even realise. You will not believe your own eyes, for there are surprises and delights that will blow your limited minds. Decide to remove your own false limitations. Get out of your own way, as it were. Set your sights on far horizons and dare to go there. Write that book. Learn to dance that dance. Learn to sing along to many a new song. Eat Think, drink in the newness of unfamiliarity. Gain clarity and wisdom, compassion and understanding by expanding every aspect of your being. 
Become a truly conscious citizen of the world by being conscious to all the world has to offer, all that it is. Play your part in preserving the magnificence that abounds. Do what you can to help lead and inspire your fellow man, to take care of Mother Earth and to respect her precious lands. She is the owner and keeper. You are all the sowers and the reapers. Therefore, sow with consideration for the future. Show her that you do care, that you can think beyond your own place, that you can share a united vision as a united human race. Yes. Wow. Incredible thing. <laughs> Amazing. It's Talk good. about being inspired and being inspirational. It's it's just daring to listen it to, is. to that voice within yeah. that says, let's change things, let's do something. Yeah, mm. and take action and travel and a bit mm. like you're doing. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. Just, think, yeah. yeah, I'll go to a different country. Expand your mind, expand mm. your, your horizons. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So thank you very much, everybody. It could have been written for you, couldn't it, that one? <laughs> it could. Yeah. Yeah. For everyone listening, mm. that could have been written. Exactly. So let's do it. And again, you can always listen to it again on the archives. Because yeah. there's a lot, lot to digest in one sitting there. Mm. Mm. But, um, so can I just say thank you very much to Kelly for joining us. Oh, yeah. really I'd like to I wish you love and joy on your journey as you all go off to Bali. And we'll hope to come out and see you out there. Yes. Mm. We'll be coming to the wedding. Coming to yeah. your wedding. Wow. So thank you very much. And to my beautiful Josephine. Thank you. And Anita thank and you. Jill. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Stay golden. Let's stay, stay golden. golden. And we're going to be raising vibrations. Across the nations. On this hour. Manifestation. Manifestation. Namaste, Namaste, Didi. Namaste, Didi. Namaste, Didi.